Many inmates across the country are being released as a precaution against the spread of COVID-19. And more than 100 people in jails in the upstate are now free, in fact. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell has been digging into the process behind this. Ann, fill us in. Diane, this comes after an order from South Carolina Supreme Court Chief Justice Don Beatty. It postpones trials and allows for more leniency with bond. In Greenville County, 85 inmates have been released over four days. That's according to Assistant County Administrator John Vandermosten. He said all of them were low-level offenders, and some had already been in jail close to the maximum time for their charge anyway. He said a big concern is having someone come into jail with COVID-19 and not having a place to quarantine people. He says releasing these inmates creates that space. In Anderson County, Sheriff Chad McBride says about 42 inmates have been released. In my opinion, I would have loved to have, have looked at some of these guys and conducted a risk assessment of some of these people before they're released because some of them, I can tell you right now, we're going to be dealing with probably today or tomorrow. He says he's worried about them creating more work for his deputies. They're going to be breaking the law. They're going to be breaking into somebody's you know, car or house, or they're going to you know, they're going to be stealing something, or they're going to go out and celebrate, and get get them a bag of meth. Eighth Circuit solicitor David Wagner, who prosecutes cases in Anderson and Oconee counties, said they're trying to be proactive in light of this ruling by the state's chief justice, directing those charged with non-capital offenses to be released before their trials going forward, unless they're deemed to be a danger to the community or an extreme flight risk. He said as of Thursday, the jail in Anderson County was still over capacity by 83 people, even after releasing dozens. And all circuit court and family court hearings have been canceled until May 1st, except for in emergencies. From 7 on Main, Ann Maxwell, 7 News. And the Chief Justice ordered bond hearings be held at least once a day. There are new visitation rules.